back today, let me show you about our number one Arbor Press. Now, Arbor Presses have been around forever. Leverage has been around forever. Everybody knows about Archimedes. Give me a lever long enough and a place to put a fulcrum, I can move the world. That's the way these things were built back in the old days. This press design has been around since 1911. And I mean, if you've got this press from 1911, the rams we make today will fit it. So this, this machine, we have no idea what the half-life is on an Arbor Press. It's probably a couple of hundred years. If you need parts in the year 3000, you're watching this video, call us up. We'll send you a ram. It'll bolt right on. You can't mess with simple perfection when it comes with a tool. So we try to put everything we can into the minor amount of com components that are in here. This ram is hardened steel, case hardened steel. The spindle that goes th through here is, is heat treated. The frame is made out of a very high quality gray iron cast frame. And one of the important things we do when we start machining our frames, we chuck them up one time on our CNC center and everything is faced off without moving this press from job to job. So everything is square from this plate to the groove that's machined down through here, through the bolt holes, through the horizontal hole through here. Heck, we even face the bottom of the frame off so if you put this up on a table it's not wobbling around on you. So that's another thing you're going to notice on our presses is we have this heavy spine going down the back of the frame. And that essentially creates an I-beam type of structure in here and we all know how strong an I-beam is. This is our one-ton version of the Arbor Press. Very simple, single, single leverage machine, a 36 to 1 gear ratio in here. So when you're thinking about an Arbor Press, you're thinking about any tool. You can't be left without a good machine that's going to be dependable for you. This is heavy. This is simple. This is dependable. You're looking for something like that in a machine. You're looking for something like that in a son-in-law. I hope you find you're lucky in both regards. Think of Dake when you're thinking about a machine. For a son-in-law, you're all on your own with that one. Service, repair, or production shop is truly complete without the pressing power and versatility of a heavy-duty arbor press. Arbor presses are perfect for inserting or removing ball bearings, riveting, staking, broaching, and so much more. Grizzly offers a wide range of arbor presses to fit your needs. From our half-ton T27033 27033 arbor press, which is an ideal choice for smaller riveting tasks, to our T26413 one-ton press, T26414 two-ton press, and our T26415 three-ton press, which are perfect for removing pesky ball bearings for a fresh take on life for your tools. When you need some added muscle and precision to solve your pressing needs, look no further than the T27665 five-ton arbor press. Each model features heavy-duty reinforced cast iron construction throughout, and a precision milled cast iron rotating anvil for a wide range of pressing operations. All models also feature a reversible steel ram with a built-in magnetic tool holder on one end to ensure that each of the three included punch tips stay put. The bore in each ram accepts dies, inserts, and other tooling for custom work. The pre-drilled mounting holes help keep the base firmly in place during operation. Each model features a solid steel handle with through hole for easy leverage control adjustment. The T26413 one-ton arbor press also has a hand wheel for any of your repetitive pressing needs. With throat capacities from 3 and 3 quarter inch on the T27033 to 9 and 3 quarter inch on the T27665 and all sizes in between, we've got you covered for a variety of applications. Welcome to Dake again. Let me tell you a little bit about our 1.5B arbor press. Actually in our 1.5 series we have four different models. The one and a half, the one and a half B, the one and a half C, and the one and three quarter. Why we call it one and three quarters beyond me. But let me get into this a little bit because they're all identical as far as the drive system and tonnage. One and a half B is a three ton machine. As you can see, it's a ratchet, ratchet lever machine. And as the name implies, you know, it ratchets itself down with every stroke like that. It also has this hand wheel here to adjust or retract the ram. Also has a spring operated brake in here, so when you take your hands off of this, the ram's not going to go anywhere. This wheel down here, of course, you can see is for repairing motors or pushing bushings or bearings. You have the feel of the amount of pressure on this lever to determine if you've set your bushings or your bearings just perfectly. 
All right, this thing's got a 48 to 1 gear ratio in it. This base here is an option. Let's take a look at our one and three quarter if you're, if you're interested in the machine of this size. The one and a half C has got a very deep throat, meaning, as you see from this one, this one's got seven inches from the back of the ram to the neck of the casting. You can do a 14 inch diameter wheel in this if you were pushing a bushing or a bearing into a wheel. One and a half C has got 17 inches of throat. So you can do like a 35 inch diameter wheel in the one and a half C. The head configuration, all the gear drives and everything up here are identical on each unit. It's just the frame sizes and the frame configuration that makes them different between the different model numbers. Now everybody that works on our phones is familiar with this. They all started working out in the shop. So if you want to call 1-800-937-3253, if you're interested in Arbor Press, the people that answer the phone, very knowledgeable, if, and they can sort of size up what you're doing for your particular job in that regard. If they don't know the answer, they always know somebody out in the shop that does, or they know one of our customers that's using it for a specific purpose, and we have a deep enough customer base. Thank you all for your assistance with us on this, and we're just going to help each other get through.